And we back, y'all. Y'all see what it is, man. Stop playing. Look, man. This move, well, first off, hold on. Stay right here. Do not skip ahead. I'm about to give a disclaimer that needs to be heard at the beginning of this. All right, so do not skip yet. The reaction time will be up here uh, when the actual reaction starts. So you can hit that. Well, you can skip to that time that you see up here. And if it's not up here, man, I forgot to edit it in. It should be in the title. The actual time that the reaction starts should be in the title if I don't have it in the video. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have it up here somewhere. So either way, if you don't see it when I say, okay, now you can skip, it should be in the title. All right. So listen to the disclaimer first. Disclaimer, y'all. Headphone volume to the movie or show that I'm watching is cranked up up here. I cannot hear myself at all. Um, therefore, I can only hear what's going on in the movie even while I'm talking. And they might be saying so I can hear it, okay? I'm just letting y'all know because I'm not one of those reactors that just talk, talk over the movie and miss a bunch of stuff that's being said and all that. I don't like doing that kind of thing. I like to actually hear what's going on. Which is why I do have the volume cranked up. So even while I'm talking, I'm not hearing myself. You're hearing me though. You're getting my raw thoughts and opinions on what I'm seeing in the moment. So that being said, yeah, that's that's my disclaimer. But I do lose place um, in the movie when I try to think of the disclaimer while watching the movie to say, which I'm going to do again because I'm pretty sure some people already skipped ahead. And they might be mildly getting annoyed by me talking over the movie, thinking that I'm missing things. So I'm going to have to give that disclaimer again somewhere in the video for those that skip. No problem. No problem. Um, even though I do kind of miss out some when I try to think of the disclaimer. Um, hey, I catch back up. I'm really good at multitasking when it comes to this type of stuff. So it won't take me too long, only a few seconds to pick back up wherever I might have missed off at. Well, left off at pretty much. Um, so, yeah, that being said, that's the disclaimer. That's out the way. Reaction time should be up here. But you should be able to skip ahead. If it's not up here, remember, check the title of the video. And it should be in the title of the video if it's not in the video. But you can now skip ahead if you want to skip ahead. Uh, I just like to hang out and talk with y'all for a minute. On top of that, it helps with copyright on me being able to get these videos uploaded without issue. So, y'all, today I'm going to be reacting to a movie called Gundala. Now, at the time of this recording, this movie was recommended maybe about seven or eight months ago, probably. So, I do apologize for anybody, especially the ones that recommended this film. Uh, I do apologize for the long, long, you feel me, wait for this to be, you know, brought to you. I am sorry, but I am editing this within the next day or two and going to have it out. So this is going to definitely be one of those reactions that I try to hurry up and get out there because, again, I know people have been waiting on this one. So it's coming. Now, apparently... This is the Asian take of um, the Marvel superhero franchise, basically the Asian version. So I'm very curious on this because first off, if y'all saw my other reactions to Ong Bak, um, what else? Um, it's been a while. It's been a while. I had Ong Bak, um, the, the night comes for us. It was another one. I can't remember on top. But if you've seen my reactions to those type of movies that's also on this channel in my movie playlist section, um, you know I love martial arts, y'all. So apparently this is like some martial arts superhero type of stuff going on. It seems to be an ongoing series of movies just like the Marvel Universe. But I was told not to expect the Marvel budget, the Marvel big budget, meaning the you know, the visuals, the the explosive visuals and all that stuff, like basically one of those big, big Hollywood movies. But it's still apparently a big, not Hollywood, but it's a big budget movie that I guess it um not rivals um the Hollywood blockbuster movies like the Marvel stuff, but apparently it at least it, it, it can go in there like it, it can go in there and. Hey, 
from what I've seen with, with certain movies from the Indonesia area, um, like, what, what was that movie? Um, what was that? Was the night come for us? It might have been. It was something like that. Either way, from what I've seen so far, it seems like even with such, even with a small budget, it seems like a lot. So I'm very curious on what they do with a large budget, which they have here. Um, so I'm very curious to see how that looks because it already looks like a lot. Usually when um over in the Asian market, from what I've seen with smaller budget films, um, it always looks like something kind of like a big Hollywood movie to me anyway. So, hey, I'm very curious to see what y'all do here with a large budget um, and your take on the superhero um, genre. So that that would be very interesting to see here. But, um, listen, y'all. I'm just really ready to get into this because this is long awaited. I've been wanting to get into this. If y'all watched any of my other reactions or maybe seen some of my lives that I do over here, um, all that is playlist that y'all can go check that stuff out, especially my lives. Those are my behind the scenes lives. Feel y'all in what's going on. You know, behind the scenes kind of give you an idea of how I'm doing these videos in general, how I'm, you know, how I go about moving with this stuff. But either way, y'all go check that out also on the playlist. Somewhat, well, I don't think I have my lives in the playlist, but they're there. Um, yeah, but this movie was a long way. Basically, that say I've been mentioning me reacting to this film for a while now, like saying, Yo, I gotta get the gun dollar, I gotta get the gun dollar. Y'all, gun dollar's coming, gun dollar, <sighs> y'all, gun dollar is finally here, okay? It's finally here, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So, look. Look, we're going to get into this. I want to see what this is talking about, what the fuss has been about, because it's been a couple of people that recommend this movie. And hey, to that couple of people, I appreciate y'all 100%. Keep hitting me with some good, good movie recommendations. I'm trusting that this is going to be a very enjoyable watch. I'm trusting y'all on this. So, enough of the talk. I think I talked long enough, all right? Let's go ahead and get into this superhero movie, Gun Dollar. All right, I want to see what it's talking about right now. So let's go, man. All right, let's go. What's that? Is that Captain America? What? What is that? What is this? Yo, are these supposed to be like all the superheroes and whatnot? Bum, Lang, get. How do you say that? Boom, boom, me, like, get studio, Lang, get. Okay. Oh. Yo, we're invincible. What is this? It's a protest? Yep, this is a protest. This is a protest. What the hell is that? Oh, it got a SWAT out there? The boss. I already know what that's about, y'all. I worked in a warehouse for many years, y'all. I understand that. Yeah, we kicked doors down over here, my boy. Damn. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't waste no time. Man, just straight up, he just said, bye. I just, and that mother throw a rock at me? Somebody threw a rock at me? <laughs> Stop. I thought we were using force to get in there. Man, you were just saying stop. You beating up people now. What you? What are you? <laughs> hey, how hard was that? Because Brett got smacked right in the head, the top of the head with that. Man. I would have been knocked out. Then someone didn't talk to me. He the leader, ain't it? What? Okay. Alright, that's weird. So he doesn't want the leader to do the... What is supposed to be negotiation, right? Better terms for the workers and whatnot. I, 
And what kind of cameras they got to even see that? Troublemaker. Nah, he ain't no troublemaker. Bro over here fighting for a cause. Yeah. Bro, that's that's not okay. Just because some people are okay with that, that don't mean it's okay. Fair day's work should get a fair day's pay, young man. Why? Because somebody got to do it, man. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to stand up to that stuff, bro. Karena kalau kita diam saja melihat ketidakadilan di depan mata kita. For real. Itu tandanya kita bukan manusia lagi. For real. Your dad like a, 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 a Asian Jimmy Hoffa, my boy. Look, look, look Jimmy Hoffa up. Your dad looking out for the workers' rights, man. She said that lightning one strike. That lightning is striking the same spot a couple times right now. Oh, they're missing. Bapak kemana? Dua teman bapak yang pergi ke pabrik untuk ngomong sama yang punya pabrik. Sudah tiga hari belum pulang. Yeah, so they didn't come out. But he said he. Low down, quote unquote, boss. Do ruthless. Hmm. She seemed like a strong woman, man. She over there, like, yo, let's go to their to their family's home and make sure the families are okay. What the hell? Yo, fuck, yo, bro, bro. No, don't go, don't go, don't go. Them boys got rifles now. Them boy, yo, y'all friends sold y'all out, man. They sold y'all out. No. Ooh. Yo, that's a real woman right there. She want to make sure her, man, she make sure her husband's straight. That's real. Is he scared of the, he's scared of the thunder? Oh, okay. I thought they were gonna shoot. Boy, I about to say. Oh, I know what they're gonna do. Are they gonna try to kill that man to take out the leader? Yo. Man, no. Uh, how did? No. Bro, it was the real one. He looked like a real one, bro. No. Yo, they killed that man in cold blood, bruh. Oh. Oh. What was that? But still, y'all. So they, man, they sold that man out, though. They really, and those was his friends. That don't make no sense, bro. It's all for a dollar, bro. What would you do for that dollar, my boy? Besok ibu harus pergi keluar kota. Ada yang nawarin ibu kerjaan. Nginep. Iya. Cuma sehari kok. She gotta go make the money. She has to make the money. Besok kamu pulang sekolah. That's not cool, bro. So she gotta go out there, leave her son alone. 
So she can, man, come on, man. Come on, man. They killed that man in cold blood, bro. They killed that man. Like, man, every time, every time it's somebody that's that's leading some stuff for the people, bro. They always gotta take them out somehow, man. Man, that's all right. Come on, where is where is his mom, bro? Don't do this. Don't do this, man. It can't be two parents missing. Where is the mom, man? Where is his mom, bro? See, that's something right there his dad would have fixed right there. That type of leak. Oh, why the lightning keep attacking this boy? She still ain't back. Bruh. No, man, this kid ain't got no food. All he got is scrap. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at him, y'all. What is this, man? Like, this don't seem very superhero-like. People, cool people dying. It's a good thing it's some people that actually do care for this boy still. Or at least cared enough about his... Oh, wait, that's her. The, the wife or the dude that set the hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably I'd be on the same shit. Didn't you... Yo, her sold my... To, man, which caused his mama to have to go out there. Now she's missing. Man, don't. But at the same, you you need the nourishment. You need the nourishment. This does not seem like a very happy story. That's some. This is sad, man. He out in the streets. What's going on now? Hey, God, dog. Whoa! Uh. Like, what is that beat? Somebody got to stand. Somebody got to stand up. That's what it, hey, that's what your dad says. Somebody, you see injustice in this world. You got to do something. My guy over here whooping, boy. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. I love it. Let's go. Mmm. I ain't gonna lie, these fight scenes are very well choreographed, bruh. These are kids on, well, I'm pretty sure some of them are stuntmen, but still. This is... Mmm!
Stand tall, my boy. So my boy was trying to stand tall. My boy was, hey, you you saw where that rock throwing stuff got people at the beginning, my boy. You gotta be careful with them rocks. Hey, he might you minding his business? Yeah. Straight up. Mm. Straight up. My boy gonna teach him how to get it out the mud, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. We create warriors around here. It's about time something good goes for this kid. Because I'm tired of seeing all this bad stuff happen to him, man. Man, my boy getting trained up. Say, there ain't no time for resting, my boy. Back to action. Let's go. Okay, he finding them openings in there. Okay. I'm trying to look at how they how they doing it, y'all. Uh, my boy finding them openings. All right, get that parkour. Get that parkour. Yes, sir. Use your body weight. Kenapa? 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 <laughs> hey, he just keeping it real. My boy, my boy is nice to a certain extent. But it's like, yo, this the streets. I'm going to teach you what you need to survive out here. But my boy, this the streets. You got to get it how you live. And as a fact, he's having a dream, isn't he? Of course. Where did she go? My guy's all right, y'all. He really is a good guy. No. That's real. He he gave him a chance though. He did. He did. That's real. That's all you can do is salute somebody for being real, bruh. He was real with him, bruh. That's real. He taught my boy skills to survive on the streets. He taught him skills, y'all. And he tried to do that, but hey, it's not nothing, you know, personal. My man taught bruh how to survive on the streets. That's all he needs. Shouldn't have to fear on his own as a boy, but what the hell? Don't let nobody punk you, bruh. You got those skills. Don't let nobody punk you. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry about the mic. I'm sorry. Dug boy, Lord. Yeah, stay out of your bed. Hey, I stay out of your bed. You stay out of mine, son. <sighs> stay out of the business, bruh. And that's sad. That's sad, too, but. That's what it is in the street, especially you young, bruh. So why are they harassing them? I don't understand. Why do they, why are they like keep chasing this dude?
Nah, don't trust. They look rich, bro. Don't trust them, folk. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't. No, 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 no. No, don't trust that sh No. Get out that car, boy. Get out that car, boy. Yeah, I don't trust it. I don't. I just don't trust it, y'all. I don't trust it, y'all. No. Take off. I don't know. Maybe they were good people. I don't know. But my boy taught them how to survive on the streets. I said, don't trust rich people. Don't you trust them rich people. Hey, my boy taught them how to survive on the streets, y'all. That's what he needed the most. He taught them how to survive. I love this. I love, hey. Oh. Oh, damn. Matter of fact, where is this in it? Well, is this in Indo Indonesia, y'all? Because I'm seeing that this is an Indonesian film. Uh, is this Indonesia? Where in exactly what part of Indonesia is this being filmed? Because is this a set or is this the actual like spot out there? He's still minding his business, y'all. But is this like even with that, this looks like the projects. Do they even have projects out there in the Indonesia or anywhere in the Asian region? Is the projects a thing out there too? For those y'all that don't understand what I'm saying with projects, if you're from that way, projects basically apartment buildings like sky high a bunch of apartments close together very tight knit bad areas call them projects mm. he's gonna forever be hunted by that lightning ain't he? but i'm guessing because we we still haven't even gotten to the superhero parts of this yet all i've been seeing is some horrific real deal in the streets realism type of stuff going on here bagaimana ya rasanya menjadi politikus muda saya sudah lupa kita kan sama-sama baru dilantik tadi pagi mas Pastinya masih optimistis. Eh, hmm. tidak mewakili kita semua. Saya masih punya harapan. Harapan? <laughs> Apa yang bisa dihari bayaran mafia seperti yang berbicara? Mafia? What a mob at? Orang yang asal-usulnya nggak jelas kok. Yang terbesar di Jawa. Plantation? What kind of plantation? Suatu saat, para pekerja perkebunan meminta pengurangan jam kerja. Tapi tidak dikabul. They love working all the, the, the workers out here to death, don't it? Hey, fair days work, fair days pay. Pekerja perkebunan berzina dengan istri pekerja lain. Oh, suami perempuan itu. They really love beating people with these rocks in here, y'all. What is their problem with rocks? Lalu memfitnah ayah pengkong. superhero movie is this i am seeing nothing but horrific things bro i am not here for this shit. i am not here for this oh my god what is up yo they didn't turn this up to a whole nother notch past the regular superhero movie this is darker than dc at this point Ooh. Wait, is he the 
boy that was in the fire? Saya tahu siapa anda. Haidar Subandi. Maaf. Saya hanya rakyat yang ingin bertemu wakil-wakil saya. So he was the boy that got burned up though, right? That's insane. Hey, a lot of mob is the mob. Saya nggak keberatan mas jadi orang paling bodoh. Mas kita semua ini ramai mas dia cuma sendiri. Kenapa kita harus takut dulu? Dulu adik ayahnya sepi di sana supaya harta warisan tetap dipegang oleh adik. Hi, so you can't even trust your fam. Your family will rob you before anybody else. That is horrible. Banyak anak This man really. Atau dijual atau dipekerjakan dengan bijak. Merencanakan pemberontakan. What the? He became. He did that with a smile. That's a killer, y'all. And bro, over here putting all that together himself. Yo, yo, what is this? Children of the corn or something? What? 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 My boy came up hard. He came, I understand. I understand that. My boy came up hard, y'all. He got it how he... I don't know y'all know the, the, the phrase, get it how you live. But my boy had to get it how he live, man. For real. And if, if it come that way, if it gotta come that way, it gotta come that way. Ain't nothing else to say about it. I don't trust that something ain't right here, y'all. I don't trust it. Okay. Something just don't feel right still. Something he feel like I'm feeling. Something ain't right because, bro, apparently this stuff with this mob boss, you just kind of disrespected him. Some don't feel, and you just found out kind of how he became a monster. And hey, it don't feel right, right? See, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. If they if they have like dangerous crimes and stuff that go on over there in Asia and whatnot. I ain't gonna lie, they should legally be able to have firearms over there because. But then again, hey, motherfuckers really fight over there. Like, so I don't know. That is technically like a firearm with them hands, so I don't know. Who is this mystical fire bending mother? Excuse me? How did they even set that up? You disrespect, dude. Oh, boy. Buat wakil rakyat yang tidak bisa menghormati rakyat. Tolong jangan saya mohon jangan. Tolong lepaskan keluarga saya saya mohon. Lepaskan keluarga saya saya. Tapi mohon. apa kamu sudah belajar dari semua ini? Wakil rakyat tidak membutuhkan tangan, hanya mulut untuk bersuara. Saya mohon. Oh. Mulut juga bisa. Tolong, tolong, 
Sebelum mati, dia menerima pesan Bapak. Kalau dia lalu mati, kamu tahu kenapa aku tidak takut mati. Bro. Karena aku tidak tahu ada apa setelah mati. Mungkin jiwa kita tetap hidup. Aku mau pastikan jiwa. That's cold bloody. That's cold bloody. Yeah, this 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 dude on a whole nother level of villains right here, y'all. This is a whole nother level of villains. Oh my god, bruh. Wow. Y'all explain what the message was. Clearly, that I think I kind of got it, but I'm I can't sit and think too long on it, otherwise, I'm gonna miss stuff here. So, what was the message he was trying to send to that man? Like he said, regret, but Mm. So they about to have an internal war in that country. Dang. This. Oh, they could fit three people on that motorcycle. That's cool, right now. I want. Hey, what kind of motorcycle is that? My boy ain't minding his business, y'all. My boy ain't minding his business, y'all. It don't matter. He gonna mind it anyway. Woo! Hey, he just slapped his <laughs> Like, bitch, he ain't even want the punch. Ooh, let's go! He just in with that John Cena, you can't see me. Excuse me? What is going on now? Nah. What's going on? Like, what's happening? What y'all want? Y'all really want this? My dude trying to take on five people. What y'all want to do? He blind him with the light, too. Did y'all pick up on that? He blind him with the light. I love it. I love it. surroundings let's go drop they in that hole drop them one at a time in that hole yeah kick them in there yes 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 boy come on this boy got he's scoring all kind of who's no net well all net my bad no backboard I don't think that held very well. Yes! Boom, boom! Boy! Oh, man, come on, bro. Well, it's a whole game, bro. There's only so much you can do, but, boy, you, you held out. You held out. I give him that. He held out. Udah, 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 udah. 
Might as well. Them boys is ruthless. They been ruthless through this whole movie. I ain't gonna lie. This is a different level of physical violence than than the average superhero movie I'm watch, used to watching. Like this is this is um, boy, I do not know how to describe. My boy got hit with the lightning in the head, y'all. What's up with this lightning? What is up with this lightning, y'all? That's not it, bro. Where did she go? Like, what happened to her? Gonna drop some old kid off, lady. Yo, what is going on here? Bridget got yeah thrown off a roof, struck by lightning, and you just gonna drop a hole. He looking at like I don't know, man. I don't know. She just dropped me off. I don't know. <laughs> she like, hey, that's gonna be the protection he need right there. But don't play with them folks, man, because he just had, bro. Again, y'all explain to me what was the message he was trying to get across to that young politician. Because he, boy, he, he delivered a message. Mm. Y'all see the fear in that man's eyes when he look, look at him, look at him. Y'all see the fear, look at him now, the eyes going down like, oh, I ain't messing with that, I ain't messing with that. Oh boy. Sangat disayangkan kalau it is a loss, isn't it? Mm. Y'all see the fear in my I like that's good acting. That's good acting. Y'all can see the fear in his eyes like bro's a real deal monster. <sighs> I mean, look at he couldn't even say none. I know you repulse that Jose. Okay, look at all you do is look down like a scared little mouse. Yeah, he did straight up. <laughs> he just wanted to visit for real. It, 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 <laughs> well, what are they doing out there though? What were they doing? He's just looking over here at this random kid he had no interaction with for real life. So, what's up? And who is that? Huh. Bro, so you were wearing broken headphones just to wear them? So people, hey, I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty smart way. I think I might start kind of doing that and put the headphones on like, yeah, headphones ain't even on. I'm listening to everything around me. Did he fix them up just like that? This is wild. My guy just take care of a random kid, y'all. This is this is what it's about, my boy. This is what it's all about. You're like, damn, we toss you off a roof. What's up? What you got? Two choices, my boy. Oh! That was good. That was a good shot. Yeah, don't don't ruin the people's stuff. Why all y'all gotta retreat this one? It's a whole, it's a whole 
whole group of people back there that's doing they thing. Why y'all gotta chase this one person? Y'all already tossed my dude off a roof, man. I appreciate him trying to be the decor to, you know, the decor to, to get everybody out of trouble of the market and stuff, but come on, bruh. Let's go, let's go. Mm. Let's go then. Y'all gonna learn today. Y'all gonna learn today, bro. Like, I'm so sick and tired of whooping the ass and getting whooped. Like, bro, squared up. He like, let's go. Hey, I love this. What are they doing here with the with the uh with the effects? What are they doing? Like, they're making it look more. Y'all see how the, the dust is flying every time he hits somebody. It's like dust is flying on like the punches. Are we finally using the powers? He like, stank shock, let's go. Hey, he about to learn how to use the powers, y'all. What is up with everybody getting hit with these? Yo, my boy ain't playing with y'all, man. My boy is not playing with y'all, man. Y'all better stop playing with him. He whooped everybody. He over there holding his back like, oh boy, my back almost went out again. God dog. I'm so tired of this. They looking like, well, dog. <laughs> or they handicapped. Nah, they weren't handicapped. Um, if anything, my guy was handicapped. <laughs> no, 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 no. Were they? They were a bunch of old ladies. Like, oh, boy, do I got to beat up some more people? What y'all want? Bruh, my guy's trying to mind his business. He's not a superhero. He's just the average guy trying to do his thing in the average way. Yeah, he's not a hero, y'all. What the? F Yo, raw. What is this? Penis, yo, what is up with this, bro? They trying to knock this man out repeatedly. I am so why why can't this man have a regular day, bro? He thinking, how about you let him hit you in the head with that big wooden log? Yo, I'm so sick. Yo, yo, what is going on? <laughs> what why are they doing this man like this? Why are they doing this, man? He helps y'all, and you come around trying to... Man, come on, man. <laughs> Leave this man's head alone. <laughs> Just make, come, what are you making sure of? He really got knocked out, bro. Like, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. What the? Kid, what's going on? <laughs> this is these people's livelihood, bro. They really going to burn it down like that? That's these folks' livelihood, man. It don't man, y'all can't be putting all y'all hope in one man. Y'all gotta put hope in y'all selves, bruh. That injustice, y'all. If you see injustice being done in this world and you won't wanna do nothing about it, that's when you not human no more. Nah, they uh -uh. police ain't about to pay for nothing. Hey. 
Ayo, ayo, Pak. Ayo, ayo. Ya! Ah, jebat the size sih. That kid didn't even go halfway, did it? That that just went a couple inches, my boy. That flag king ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh man. Gak ada yang perlu ditakutin dari petir. Coba. Bunyinya bisa memecahkan kaca dan barang-barang lain yang beresonansi dengan frekuensi suaranya. Kok pintar banget. Kaca. Hey, reading is fundamental, y'all. It is fundamental. Why do they gotta keep testing things out on him? I'm so sick and tired. Stop testing stuff on this man trying to knock him out, bruh. This is not the way to do heroes, bruh. You don't just keep hitting heroes in the head and in the back with hard objects, y'all. That's not the way to treat heroes, okay? Like, come on. This is that man. I'm so mad with how they doing, my boy. Oh, this is the green stuff that they injected, right? So they put it in. So that was rice they was putting that stuff in. Well, why did they do that? Oh. Oh, they ski masked up. Is that? Oh, my boy. Yes! That's like some Bruce Lee stuff right there. This is a street fight. We do not do that competition rule stuff. This is a street fight. Anything goes. Fighting, kicking to the groin, all that eye gouging. Let's go. My boy would just stand there like, oh, I'm just with it. Let's go. Let's go. What was that about? So his powers, he's he's able to get that from only when it's raining. He's able to get that strength because he's able to get hit by lightning at that time. Can he call upon the lightning when it's not raining? Dia bilang kau masih simpan foto ibumu. Kenapa? Enggak. Dia cantik. No, why you look like that? Why she look like that? 
She hiding something, I think. That's, I ain't gonna lie, that's cool though. That is kind of cool. And he getting, get it. Oh, that's good. That is good. Are we thinking of a new way here to extract the lightning? Costume time, y'all. Costume time. What we got, what we got. I swear to God, I'm with that kid. I'm, hey, let's go, man. Yeah. Oh, I'm ashamed to be in Indonesia. Yo, I swear to God, bro. I'm sorry. You got to do better than that, bro. You got to do better, man. This is this disrespectful to y'all country at this point like that, my boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. That's wild. Okay, we putting together some stuff here. Let's go. That boy said thumbs up, my guy. <laughs> don't take everything. My boy wanted to die for it, y'all. My boy out there whooping him. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he got the electricity power down. He got it down. He got it down. Yes. My boy Lion, he was a real hero, real deal hero came from the ground. My boy straight out the mud with it. This is not something that's just given. My boy came out the mud being a hero. Satu hal yang paling berharga. Itu yang saya suka dari kamu, Kana. Karena kamu tahu harus setia kepada siapa. Hmm. What is it? dan pemilik media yang pemikiran berkumpul. Kamu kasih tahu satu orang saja. Besok kamu sudah hilang. Oh. He's not joking. I don't think he's joking. <laughs> yeah. Aslah supaya satu generasi jadi generasi amoral. Apa itu amoral? Konten pornografi. Jadi LGBT. LGBT. Apa amoral itu termasuk korupsi? Kalau What? termasuk korupsi Gue baru khawatir. Konsumsi oleh para perempuan hamil lewat injeksi, tapi harus diloloskan oleh pemerintah dulu. Biarin aja bayi-bayi itu lahir tanpa moral. Moral itu apa sih? What are morals? Yang it? penting, logika, ada hati nurani. That's it. Eh, apapun itu harus ada sesuatu untuk membuat hmm. dia tenang, ya kan? Ada yang lain. <laughs> Engkor nggak akan seneng tuh. Kita juga harus bersatu menghadapi ini. Cek background perusahaan farmasi yang disebutkan tadi. Dia hmm. juga soal orang asing. Excuse me? Dia tanya kenapa dia masak, berarti dia malu. Kenapa? Kayaknya dia enak sih kamu. True enough, my boy the true. I like that little boy. Like, hey, it's all good, man. I appreciate it. I be, I ain't say nothing. Okay, thanks. I'll just start eating. Uh, thanks. You heard that little boy? Don't ask. <sighs> she likes you, bro. Ch chill, bro. I get it. You, you ain't really deal with female pain like that. But hey, my boy, the young boy trying to school you, cuz even even help you out with his sister. 
Lu mau tahu kan cewek bakar pasar? Gua ada infonya. Pasa. Pasa. Saya sempat jadi tukang parkiran juga. Parkir di mall, gedung, bahkan apa. Saya juga turn itu tuh. Saya kan sempat kerja di situ apartemen itu juga. Di sana tuh salah satu penghuninya Haji Suleman. Itu pemain dolo hebat. Iya tahu, tapi apa hubungannya sama dia? Itu dia. Ngapain dia di pasar malam-malam? Itu para pedagang tuh main asal tuduh-tuduh aja. Kan enggak sama gender. Wait, what? So it really wasn't the thugs that burned down. Okay, so. Huh. Whoa. So my boy is like some super elite villain fighting type of dude. Let's go then. Gua pernah dikasih tahu bakal ada satu orang yang bakal merasa dirinya pahlawan. Tapi gua enggak nyangka bakal seculun ini. My boy worked on his costume, okay? It looks pretty cool from where it started from, all right? Don't disrespect the costume. What's that about? He over there. This, uh, viol are violinists this violent? Like, you crazy, ain't it? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I don't, I, what? Menunggu anak-anak lahir tanpa bisa membedakan baik dan buruk, begitu? Anda terlalu menyepelekan otak manusia. Saya tidak punya waktu untuk berdebat. saya harus bertindak maaf. Dia pasti sudah bicara seperti ini pada anggota yang lain. Langsung. Kalaupun mereka mau, mereka akan berhadapan dengan pengkor. Siapa dia? Mafia yang menguasai legislatif. Her locker bent up, ain't it? Why his locker stick out? Did y'all notice that even the windows when he was a boy at his house, it seemed like they were sticking out kind of in comparison to the other windows. His locker seems to be sticking out. Does he just have a thing where the stuff is broken? Orang-orang membuat moral tidak terlalu peduli untuk menyelamatkan anak. Jika kamu dengar musik yang dia mainkan, kamu bisa dengar tangisan. Siapa yang melakukan itu? Seorang yang merasa pahlawan. It's a misperception. Oh, the, all the orphan kids. Wait, so the violinist, was he the dude that cut the throat when he was a kid smiling and stuff? Oh my God. He calling them all in, all those orphans for real when he was a kid. Yo, he he put them all through through their finest points in life. He got them the greatest lives, y'all. Would y'all be would y'all feel indebted to somebody that got you kind of out of a very horrible spot in life to where you could have ended up dead? Oh my God, are all of these are all of them badass, y'all? Hey, that's my guy, ain't it? That's him from all. Uh, Yo, what's the movie? Is is he from the raid um two maybe? The raid two, I'm thinking. That's my guy though. I think that's him. Okay. 
Y'all go check my reaction out to the raid and the raid too if y'all haven't seen those reactions also. Y'all, she seems kind of familiar also. She ready. She wants to go commit some violence. Do y'all see that smile? She's like, yeah, about to finally commit some violence. <laughs> y'all, what is... Oh, my God. Okay, I'm here for it, y'all. I am here for it. Okay, first off, I'm zipping right back up if somebody looks across like that as soon as I unzip. Yeah, what's up? Y'all, I watch my surroundings, y'all. I watch my surroundings. Some feel creepy. What in the f <laughs> Like, for real? <laughs> I told y'all she was ready to commit some violence, y'all. <laughs> what? <laughs> y'all. Okay, now I think we're starting to get into the superhero realm a little bit because this is definitely kind of the over the top. Oh. Here we go again with the beggars. Let's go. Let's go. Do what y'all paid to do. Let's go. Mmm. Yes, sir. Mmm. Oh. What is that out there? Who this crate? No, don't be tough. Let's go. Y'all, my guy don't look like he playing no games. He don't look like he playing no games, y'all. What is that? What was that about? <laughs> Forget that double face. I would have man. Hey. My God. Oh, this is nice. Y'all, I'm really just, hey, I'm stuck. Oh, my God. Woo, my dude ain't playing. Here we go. Oh, this is my gal, y'all. Mr. Electric in the building, now. Nah. <laughs> He's not phased, is he? The violinist wasn't phased, and he doesn't seem phased. Oh, that was nice. Toss them, didn't it? I guess he's smart enough to know. Ah, eh, that's kind of a rap here. I can tell this is a uh, bro got super strim damn near. This uh, this a rap. <laughs> Hmm. Ooh. Boy, I got thousands of assassins? Bro, I got thousands of assassins? Interrupsi Sebaiknya kita tunggu sampai benar-benar ada penelitian mendalam tentang efek dari insiden di gudang penyimpanan beras. Saya bukan orang yang paling suci. Saya juga bajingan. Saya pernah mengutuk. Saya pernah. Boy, get it how you live, y'all. Oh, y'all familiarize yourself with the phrase. You gotta get it how you live sometimes. Ini ada generasi yang 
Okay. This seems like a real honorable man, though, y'all. He got it out the mud. It was ugly, but he got it. Bro, I, like, I won't go to heaven too. I know I did some foul stuff in this world, bro. What's up? Okay. Aku kenal sama ibu kamu. See, knew, some, knew you was hiding something. What's up? Oh, setelah kamu pergi, berminggu-minggu dia nungguin kamu di rumah, nyariin kamu ke panti asuhan, rumah-rumah sosial. Ah. Huh. Setiap hari dia ngomongin kamu. Itu salah satu alasannya kenapa aku jemput Teddy. Karena dia satu-satunya keluarga aku yang masih ada. Man, bro. Dia sakit. Difonis dokter nggak akan hidup lama. Hmm. Masih di rumah sakit. Dia nggak mau ngabisin sisa waktu ini di rumah sakit. Hmm. Hmm. Bro, that's not it, bro. That's not your fault. That's not her fault neither. Scared little boy. No food. This is how this is how it work, man. Like that's messed up, man. This man lost his father. Thought his mother possibly abandoned him. I y'all that's why I'm like isn't it odd that this antidote was around right now oh boy semua pendistribusian obat serum amoral dihentikan pak demi alasan waktu membutuhkan untuk nyari ibu saya keadaan udah aman saya udah nggak dibutuhin lagi di sini sepanjang hidup saya Hal yang gak pernah bisa bertahan lama adalah Show don't peace doesn't last long. Unfortunately, that's just human nature. Semoga saya berbicara dengan orang yang benar. Tidak ada serum amoral. Itu semua akal-akalan pengkor supaya kita menyebarkan obatnya yang nanti akan membuat anak-anak terlahir cacat. Ridwan Bahri kamu harus cari pengkor sekarang. Kamu masih lemah. Jangan khawatir, Pak. Saya akan baik-baik saja. Kalian tunggu di sini. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's why I said, bro. Hey. I, I told y'all he was like a Lex Luthor, y'all. Bro, just evil. He's always steps and steps ahead. Bigger one. What? Hmm. He like, okay, you want to get wolf first? Take some real physical. Mm. 
I'm going that hole. Get your ass in there. Yeah, boy. He got knives everywhere. My boy, a real chef. Stop. Yo. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie. He was moving for a minute with it. Now he was moving for a minute with it. Oh. He just came from the cut like, yeah, I'm back. I'm with it. Oh, nice. Nice. Where did he come from? That hurt. Like, yo. Why it hurt? Like, why you pushing? Like, why is that so hard? Oh, my God. Is he breaking ribs? Put that boy in boxing. Put him in boxing. That's a boxer. Get him in boxing right now. What's in that bag, though? What is in that bag? What is that? Why does he stop? Why does it seem like he stopped? Oh. Again, where's she got in that bag? Is it like rocks or something? And if it is, it seems pretty heavy. How is she able to hold that much weight and swing around like that? So who is this? These some feisty ladies in here. I won't take none of y'all out on no date. This is dangerous. My boy just chilling, y'all. He like, hey, you remember me with the mask on the back of the head? I'm back for some more of that. Mmm, my boy took one to the leg. Okay. And he's still not at the superpower strength. That's crazy. He's not even that regular strength and he going against them. No. Y'all don't know what y'all paying for. Y'all don't know what y'all paying for, bruh. That man ain't even do nothing. He getting them up out of there now. He like, y'all get y'all weak ass up off me, cuz. Yes. Oh, you want them problems? Do you want them problems? He ain't playing no more games, y'all. He's not playing no more games. Woo! Static shock him. Sleep. Did he fall asleep? Who is that guy, y'all? And what exactly is he doing with that fire? I don't understand. So he's able to put people out with the flame? Is he like a hypnotist or something? What is he doing with that fire? Your father died for a cause. Ooh. Finally, somebody bust out with a gun, y'all. Somebody bust out with a gun. Finally, y'all. And it happened to be my dude right here. Yes. He told y'all he got it out the streets for real. He with it. He did make the decision. He even told him to get the testing done. 
It's, it is irony, y'all. It really is. That's some sick logic right there, y'all. Yeah, he 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 deserved that one, babe. He deserved that one. Saya tidak paham dengan kejadian tadi. Kenapa pedangnya? Petir menimbulkan suara gemuruh. Jangan terlalu pintar kamu. Nanti tidak ada gunanya bagi saya. Hunter, Megan, Megan. Oh my God. Whoa! Who is she? Who was that? Where did where she come from? My boy turning up off the lightning. That's the lightning juice. It's some casualties. It's some casualties, y'all. It's some casualties. And my boy got... But who was the lady that showed up, though, y'all? Who was that? And what's the block of ice he's talking about? Only one is he talking about my boy right here? He's the only one that can destroy it. Blood of a hero. Um, okay. So we got a severed head here. So they used his blood to open this thing that the head was encaged in. What was it? caged in or whatever? Excuse me. What is going on? That head's eyes opened up. Which one he got? He got a list of enemies, y'all. <laughs> Which one? Gundala. So that's what. So they finally who doesn't know who he is? Wait, war. So that's what they. Okay, so now he's getting the official title of Gundala. Yo, hold on. It ends right here. Okay, okay, Let, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Let me see if there's any end credits. Oh, it's some end credits, y'all. Hold on. I'm about to skip up to the end credits. I know y'all aren't going to see it, but I'm about to skip up to the end credits. I see. So this is kind of like some Marvel stuff. It got end credits. Okay, let me see what the end credits I know y'all aren't going to see it, but if y'all watch this movie, then y'all know what the end credits are. So let me see what this is on the end credits. Yeah, I don't miss nothing, y'all. I told y'all I don't miss nothing. Okay, my boy Gun Dollar up there in the cut. Is man going fooling people for money? Okay. Y'all, did he upgrade the costume a little bit? It seems a little different. It's the same, but it seems a little different. A little bit more, um, you know, like he put even more work into that bad boy. He doesn't last. It doesn't. It doesn't last. Hey, he did add more to the costume. He really got it worked out. Mm, facts. Who is that? Who is she? 
And where did she come from? So he thinks he's watching them, but he's also being watched by them. Who are they? Okay, I think I, I think I might be messing with this universe, y'all. I might be messing with this universe. Okay then, okay. And we back, y'all. Y'all see what it is, man. Stop playing. Look, man. That was gun dollar. Y'all, y'all, listen. Listen, y'all. Gun dollar, y'all. Okay. Um uh, Y'all, this 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 movie here, y'all. Oh my god. Okay. First off, I don't think the high budget Hollywood visuals was even needed for this film. Just watching this alone, y'all. <laughs> watching this alone, listen. I don't think the big Hollywood budget was needed here. This was a well-grounded story right here. Very well-grounded. And it stayed true to the culture that it's coming from, from what I can see. It didn't try to venture off and to become very, basically a American modernized vision of superheroes. It stayed true to what it was from what I can gather, which I very greatly appreciate here. I, I like when things do its own thing and don't try to necessarily copy stuff. You know what I mean? It can be in that universe of, you know, the superhero movies, the action movies, the horror movies, but be its own thing. You feel me? Don't try to be... And y'all just don't know how much I appreciate that about a film like this. And apparently there are, I guess, again, it's a franchise, so... There is follow-ups, and yes, I stayed for the end credit scene, y'all. Uh, I'm just very curious on the other movies that follow this. I want to know what comes next, and y'all should let me know if I should continue with this franchise. If so, I'm going to see this out to the very end, y'all. I will. Um, but my boy, uh, how do you say his name? Jen, Jen, how, how long, y'all? I want to make sure I say that name correctly. Like, let me, let me make sure I got that name down correctly, y'all, because I don't know. I just don't like mispronouncing names, even though I will, because I'm, I'm country, y'all. Like, I'm from, in the United States, I'm from the South, for those of y'all up, up somewhere, you feel me, up there in that Asian region, just know the South in America is is the country. Y'all got the country out there too in y'all areas. So y'all know how to you feel me the 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 um what you call it my um pronunciation is not, you know. Either way, I'm out the, I'm out the country, man. So I pronounce things a certain way. So I'm sorry, but hold, let me let me check this right here. I, you heard that? Y'all y'all heard that? I think that's how you say it. Sincheka. I couldn't really pronounce the name. Like, they kept pronouncing it, but they kept saying it so fast. Like, I caught the sand part, and I know how to spell it, but I don't know how to say the name. But I guess from Google Translation, it's Sincheka. Y'all let me know if that's right. Sincheka. I'm I'm just say Sam. I, I'm going to cut it short for my boy Sam. So, my boy Sam was out here, right? Y'all, this boy had a terrible childhood. I mean, we started this thing out where his dad was on his Jimmy Hoffa. You feel me? And for those of y'all who, who wonder who I'm talking about when I say Jimmy Hoffa, just look up Jimmy Hoffa and you'll get an idea of what I'm what I'm um saying when I relate to my boy Sans dad um being like an Asian gen um Jimmy Hoffa. So my boy was out here fighting for workers' rights, man. Like, unfair treatment, basically being paid way lower than what they should be getting paid. 
And it's like, yo, somebody got to do something about this. My boy, he, my boy saying, he asked his dad, well, why do you do it? He's like, yo, that's because somebody's got to do it. You know, if you see an injustice in this world being done and you choose not to help, at that point, man, I mean, you can't really say you're human at that point. But I do understand the reasons for people not necessarily getting involved, man. If if everybody could get involved in things that they see is wrong, then, you know, it wouldn't be no problems in this world. It's like the old man that um that my boy Sam was working with as, at the security thing. The old man told him, hey, um... Peace doesn't last long. It doesn't. I mean, you have peace for a while, but it doesn't last long. Meaning somebody always has to come in, mind people's business, and, and help there to be a peace to go on in this world. So, uh, you know, it, it basically it's worth fighting for. Like my, like my guy said, man, peace is, is worth fighting for. You know what I mean? It, it really is worth fighting for. Hold on, y'all. I straighten up something there. Yeah. Okay. I had to straighten that up. I don't like how that looks. But peace, y'all, is worth fighting for. Um, but again, it doesn't last long. So you gotta keep fighting. And um, it's just it's just worth it. So either way, his dad was set up by his very own friends, the people he was fighting for. They, you know, sold him out for a little dollar or two. They sold this man's life. His family out for a few dollars, y'all. For a few dollars. That's all it takes for a lot of people. That, that hey, I mean, can't knock it. I mean, as far as it go, that that's just how the world works. It is. Like, hey, you fight for people one day and those same people will turn on you. That's just that's just the cold reality of it. And uh his dad, he, you know, behind that, he 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 paid for it with it, you know. He paid for for being a good person with his life, and um, hey, it is what it is. So my boy Sam's mom, she had to get it how she lived. So she had to go out into a whole nother town or whatever to start working, so she could make money to feed her son and to take care of him, provide for him something that her husband was doing, but. Again, you know, it went the way that it went for the husband. And she went out there to, you know, make some money for the kid, and she never came back. Uh, we find out later it's because she got very ill. She fell ill. She already was sick. You could kind of tell it was something she already, I don't know, maybe maybe I missed looking at it, but um, when it seemed like she was running to go warn her husband that, you know, he was being set up, the um it when she fell it looked like yeah she had broke not broke but twisted her ankle pretty much but she looked kind of frail in a way i don't know it seemed like maybe it was some problems going on already so i'm thinking she was already sick before the husband died and she went out to go work while being sick and in bad condition and she fell i guess even more ill at which point she um she ended up hospitalized and she had to cook she had to get back to her son but she she couldn't necessarily get back to him because of how ill she was so her son was left to fend for himself to the point where he just you know, he ended up on the streets. He ended up on the streets, man. You know, my boy Sam was out there on the streets. And he was surviving. He was surviving one day at a time. I mean, we talking about my boy eating scraps. He finding scraps around the house to eat. He's eating food off the ground, y'all, because of how hungry. And speaking of the food on the ground, isn't it messed up, y'all, the fact that the woman that brought him food was the wife of the man who sold his dad out sold his dad out caused his mom to be a single mother and on top of being a single mother having to sell their home 
just so they can rent their home because they couldn't afford to keep up the home and I guess keep up maybe with payments or something they had, like a mortgage or something. So they had to sell the home that they had to turn around and rent right after selling. And this woman comes around and she knew what her husband was doing when, when Sam's mom showed up over there to see about the woman, make sure she was okay. She saw that her husband was hiding in the back, peeking around the corner or whatever, like a coward. Y'all, this superhero origin story for my boy, I, this is this is hard right here. I mean, Peter Parker's uncle, man, he got shot, you know, R.I.P. Uncle Ben, but this is hard right here. At least Peter had his aunt. This boy got raised in the streets, man. He got raised in the streets, y'all. Uh, what what? I'm sorry, y'all. I know I probably y'all probably want me to talk about a lot of the action here, and the action was amazing. I love the choreographed scenes for real. They did their thing. Um, but y'all, I, I think this was more about story than action, and it was more to appreciate the action that you got. But the story is what really was important here, in my opinion. Um. The story showed a lot, basically, with even, I would say, what, um, human nature, in a way. Uh, humans, y'all, humans, we humans, y'all, are very, what's the word? I, it's not problematic, but that is a word, but we're very, um... I don't know. Human nature is just very ugly. It's a very ugly thing, y'all. This movie touches on that somewhat to show that ugly side. Like, my boy, Sen... I don't want to say today, whole day, because I know I'm saying it wrong, but Senjaka, Senjaka, Jaku, I'm going to keep calling him saying. My boy saying, y'all saw where he was, um, as a young, as a young child. His, his hero of a father, um, he was viciously and underhandedly killed for trying to help people. And Sam saw from there, trying to help people, it could get you hurt in the process by those same people you're trying to help. His mother went out and did what she did and unfortunately fell ill, wasn't able to make it back. And, hey, he has to look at all of that being a loss from the the toughness that not even the toughness but the hardship that the world has given him like as y'all just don't know as a young boy this man had to get it how he lived for real y'all and that's what the world did to him that's what that's what humans did that's what people did y'all and the reason I talk about it like that, we get into the the mob boss, my guy who was like Lex Luthor. Um, he also went through harshness as a young child. His father was fighting for for the workers also, just like my boy Sam's father. He was out there trying to look out for the everyday man too, trying to make sure people were treated equally and by those same people he was trying to do the most for they set him up for a murder he didn't commit not necessarily everybody in the group but one person in the group regardless it still was somebody it was still somebody he was fighting for that person set him up for a murder he did not commit okay because he got caught up cheating with some dude's wife but i think the dude um whose wife or whatever i think the dude Anyway, y'all y'all saw what it was. So he framed my boy, um, my guy, the mob boss's dad, for a murder he didn't commit. And they showed up there and they killed him, killed his wife, left his son in a room as they were burning down the home. The son got well traumatized after seeing his parents killed in front of him, and on top of that. He was being burned alive. Thing. Um, he lived, but he was being burned alive. And it's crazy to go through all that. I mean, you see your, your father doing these good things for the people, but these same people are the ones that 
did what they did to him. Again, that's human nature. It's very ugly, very ugly. And uh, you you have to see that and go through that as a young child. That could have big, big consequences um, for the mental once you reach adult age. So, except he, um, he kind of reached certain ways before becoming an adult, as we saw on um, the mob boss kid. He pretty much, you know, he, that boy ruthless. He ruthless, even while being basically kind of handicapped. Um, my guy brought together the group of orphans in an organized manner to basically, hey, have an uprise at the orphanage, taking out the, you know, the people that were pretty much abusing them. And he even managed to go, I guess, kill his uncle, who pretty much stole his inheritance while also dropping him off in the orphanage to die. Um, he took vengeance on his uncle. He got his inheritance back. All the orphans that rallied around him, he looked out for them. He put them through the finest schools and had them living the finest lives. But guess what? They stayed loyal to him all the way through adulthood. And from there, he built himself up an army, an army of orphans. An army of orphans he gave the best lives to who would do whatever for him, who also would be his assassins all over. Um, I'm very curious if he died in here in Gundala because he seems like a formidable foe for Gundala. Again, like the Lex Luthor, you feel me? No superpower, but my boy genius with it. And, hey, he get it how you live, y'all. This old movie was get it how you live. Um, but that to say, the mob boss and my boy saying they kind of come from the same background in a way. Um, both with fathers that were real leaders and fighting for the people. Um, I'm guessing also very, you know, very good mothers. They walk different paths of life. Uh, my boy Sam, he got in the streets. I forgot the, the other young boy that saved him when the boys were chasing him and cut his ear and everything like that. I forgot the name of the older boy that saved him from those boys because the kids were violent, y'all. Those kids were violent. I'm talking about they made sure to show you the violence, like, for real. Like, they were not playing with it. They weren't, like, quick, you know, quick camera cutting over there and kind of cutting, not showing too much of the fist hitting the face. No, they, they even slowed down so you could see, like, a punch drop. Like right there in the kid's face. Like they're not playing. We cutting kids, everything. They they hey, this movie right here, y'all, they were not, they were not shying away from any violence with children. I will give them that for sure. Um, again, that's why I said this this film felt very well grounded. I forgot I was even watching a superhero film and to the to the you know, the the moments with the lightning started happening to my boy, and it's like Oh, yeah, my boy got superpowers. I keep forgetting he... I really kept forgetting he had superpowers. I'm just out here watching him go around whoop everybody up. Something mean, you feel me? But, you know, he didn't start out that way. You know, he started out as a hungry kid in the streets when he was alone after being orphaned and everything. And he got saved by another young orphan out there living on the streets. And he learned how to fight and everything from him. Um, I'm very curious if those two meet again. I need to figure out what was that older kid's name that saved him when those, when the group of boys was trying to jump him, cut his ear. What was that older kid's name? Because I feel like if I do continue these movies, I feel like I will see that kid again as an adult now, because I don't, I don't know, maybe not, but either way, he saw, he helped my boy gain survival skills to survive on the streets. Like, yo, 
all right mind your business don't go minding other people's business that's how you end up in the worst trouble on top of that don't trust rich people i trust the rich people that adopted me but all they did was abuse me rich people not all rich people but the way he had to implement it to him is like just point blank don't touch them they don't trust them they could be good people but don't even take the chance on it because if they're not you will definitely regret that a hundred percent but then again they might so you might miss out on that but hey either way you're better off living in the streets it, 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 like you feel me so don't trust no rich people so my boy was teaching he was giving them the rules he was giving them the skills needed like yo i could take five but the whole game show up that's different hey my boy like, yo, I can handle it. He, hey, he was handling but he, even when y'all saw it, uh, my boy saying in the warehouse, right, and the group of thugs showed up to attack him after he saved the woman and, uh, and her little brother, right? The thugs showed up at the warehouse to take him out and stuff. He was not playing no games. He was just, he was going through using his surrounding, using his skills, but as it went from like about two to three to five, it's like, yeah, okay, I'm the hang. But now it's like, oh, it's a whole gang of y'all. I'm about to take off. And he didn't try to be no superhero. He did the right thing and took off. He is not no Superman. I, I appreciate the realism there. He knew to get up out of there. It's a whole gang of dudes. Five, that's already crazy and amazing, but eh, not a whole game. So, again, I appreciate this film for the story and the realism that they tried to put in it also. Um, because, again, it's so grounded to the pack, to the point where you do not remember that this is a superhero movie. Y'all, I literally could talk about this for a while, but I already know if I do, a lot of time is gonna go by but it's so much here to talk about y'all it's a lot this is why i need y'all all right i really need y'all to do this for me go literally to the description of this video which is like in my other videos but go to the description of this video is going to be a twitch link hit that twitch link go over to my twitch channel it's free y'all it's free Follow me on Twitch, okay? Over there on Twitch is where I do whole reviews of these movies and shows that we watch over here. Me and another co-host. We really get into it about these movies. You know what I mean? So definitely follow me over there on Twitch because that's where you will see me actually give a full review of these movies. You understand me? So if you go over there and if you do miss it because that's where we... Over there is where we do stuff live, y'all. Y'all can get in the chat. Y'all can be a part of those reviews. You can add things that make the reviews a lot better, you know, because y'all input on this stuff. That's why I, I go to the comments of all these videos. I definitely like seeing what y'all have to say because y'all add so much more to these films and these shows that I'm watching. So I would appreciate that over there in the Twitch live while I'm actually giving the reviews of these films and these shows um and also if you miss those reviews i do edit the actual reviews into a shorter form for the youtube some of those um reviews will be on this channel but i will have a separate youtube channel for those like reviews it's just straight reviews y'all it's not the reactions it's the reviews but i want to talk about this some more but I got a lot that I got to get to, y'all. I got to, man, I'm not going to just say, I'm not going to say what I'm doing today, y'all. But I have a lot of stuff to react to today, y'all. So I cannot use too much energy up. Just know, overall, I enjoyed this film so much. This right here is up there to me. I don't. I don't necessarily, again, I don't see a need for the the crazy big visuals of a of an Iron Man or a Avengers movie or, a, you know, Doctor Strange. I don't see the, the need for that type of, those type of visuals necessarily in, you know, I guess this franchise 
of um, superhero films from Indonesia. I do not see the need for that because it's great without that. You know what I mean? It's doing its own thing. Now, don't get me wrong. If the next, I guess, installments to this this whole thing, if the next installments um, have any, like, I guess, big visual stuff like the Marvel Universe, I won't necessarily be mad about it. I'll only be mad if it seems like the story isn't as important as it was here. I'll only I'll have a problem then. But if they want to do the big visual thing, cool. But at the same time, it's not needed. I mean, what we got here with the superhero aspects of this film, you know, the superpower stuff, I think that was more than enough. Um, it fits basically what this seems to be very well. And, you know, I'm I <laughs> I enjoyed it like way more, not way more necessarily than like the superhero movies that I would watch like a uh, Marvel, but this seems to be a mix of, if I was to give it a, an American like, you feel me, what, what it seems similar to, I would say it's a mix of DC and it's a mix of Marvel. DC usually does those grounded, dark, broody type of stories um but it's still the of course the the superhero element of it being the uh over the top stuff you y'all know what i mean by over the top over the top isn't bad necessarily it's not bad over the top is it only works for certain films over the top definitely works for superhero films basically for it to be a whole lot of extra a lot of oomph i mean you feel me like look at batman i mean it's a it's it's mr freeze i'm not talking about arnold schwarzenegger neither but let's just let's talk about that when arnold schwarzenegger as mr freeze i'm mr freeze i will free you know all the puns and stuff the over the top villain stuff it works for those type of movies you know the superhero genre is meant to be over the top it's not meant to be some super serious dramatic piece let me deliver these witty lines and in this drawing no it's, it's not meant for that man like it's so that will work here also they kind of went a little over the top on certain things like my one of the assassins the female assassin who killed my dude in the bathroom while he was using the bathroom she strangled him and everything she was doing this weird ha 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 i love that y'all i love that that works for her character but that's that's one what, what i mean with the over the top stuff it works in the superhero genre so that's why i said it's definitely picking its, you know, pieces on what it wants to do within its own superhero universe and the pieces that it's picking, it works. Again, we got the superpower stuff where Burr is able to throw people like 20 feet away and all that stuff, but it didn't go too far over. Now, we kind of crossed a little bit more into like the super, super stuff when we got to the, I guess, the female hero um, that stopped the van with the, um, uh, with the, with the antidote, which really wasn't an antidote, but she pulled out like some, um, uh, what, what was that? What did she have? It was like a, 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 a bandana or something like a scarf. She just, and it just got long and it hit the van and made it flip and stuff. And okay. So we're, so I'm guessing with the next, um, film installments to this, it's like, we're going to see more super powered stuff, more like just crazy stuff going on here. So I'm very excited to see where we go with the superpowers and how far we're going to go there. But like I said, um, it doesn't necessarily need the crazy visuals of a Marvel. It, it seems very, it seems like it's blended very well with what it's doing. Um, like I said, it's a, it's definitely a cross between DC and Marvel DC because, well, you know what? I would only say I would only say it's a blend with Marvel because I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe just in general it seems like it's it's if I had to put it in the category of one of those two, you know, big titles when it comes to the the superhero realm, I would say it fits in very well with the DC universe cuz again, that's kind of more of the dark grounded stories, but it's still more over the top than it is here um i think probably something like the dark knight might be 
the most kind of grounded films that DC has had with the superhero genre. But this this film here, Gundala, um, this is very grounded because I really forgot a few times in this film that again, this was a superhero movie. I forgot. I, I'm just thinking this is some action drama dark like martial arts film i'm not even thinking superheroes until my boy finally puts on a costume and we're seeing electricity fly from his hands and i'm like superhero movie forgot <laughs> this is good and that's why i said this movie yeah i had so much fun with this movie i couldn't even hardly really you know talk through a lot of this movie um and again disclaimer my the volume for my headphones y'all it is loud so i can hear everything clearly but i really didn't really need to hear much because you know obviously i'm watching in the original language so i got the sub going so i'm just I'm reading, but I'm a very fast reader, y'all. I do read fast. I've always been very... And plus, I, I love anime, so I'm I'm used to sub, y'all. So I like... I, I got the shotgun. gun. How you say I got the shotgun, gun, y'all? I, I, I told y'all I'm country, y'all. I'm trying to pronounce things correctly. But y'all know what I'm talking about with Sasuke and Itachi has. I got the shotgun, gun, y'all. You feel me? So... I just, without even thinking about it, my eyes just catch it. And I can talk at the same time. But either way, um, the volume is always loud up here. My mic volumes, I can't hear it up here at all. I can, all I can hear is the movie. Y'all can hear me very clearly, though. Um, disclaimer again. But, um, yeah, I, yeah, it's way too much to talk about here. Um, <laughs> I'm not about to talk about this whole thing, y'all. But if y'all would actually like to see a review of this film, like just straight up review, let me know in those comments also. Because, again, I would love to do a review on this movie. I am going to do a review on this movie. But just to hear y'all actually say y'all would want that, um, it definitely would put more of a fire under me to go ahead and get this into that, you know, until there, like I said, y'all can come over on the Twitch, follow me. That is where I do these reviews live. You feel me? So y'all will have a chance to also add your input to those reviews. So anything I might be missing out on talking about, y'all can help me, you know, fill that in. And hey, we get to it. All right, we're going to have fun over there. And like I said, those videos will be edited into a much shorter version. So I can put them over here on the YouTube. It will be on a separate YouTube channel. But again, that's all we're going to talk about for today, y'all. I got to move on to the next thing over here. You feel me? I got a few things to react to today. So, Gundala, I'm giving that two thumbs. Two thumbs. Nah, nah, not two thumbs. Not two thumbs. Nah. I'm giving it, eh. I'm giving it four thumbs, y'all. I'm giving it four thumbs up. My fact, I'm giving it five thumbs up, bruh. Hey, I need some more of this. Again, let me know if I should finish out the rest of the movies for this for this um this series right here. Well, for this franchise right here. Let me know if I should finish it out. I hope that um they actually complete this. Like I hope it's not just a, a not a one-off thing, but like a two-film type thing. I hope they go all the way with this for real, like it's Marvel or something. I want to see, I want to see the list. I want to see it because in the opening of this, I seen like a whole bunch of superhero costume people. So I'm hoping that all of these stories are actually done. Um, I'm hoping that they actually go through all these heroes and. It's a bunch of the movies that are in a certain order. And, you know, yeah, I, I just want to see this continue because this is, uh, yeah, man, man, I got to show my friend this. I'm going to have him do a reaction to this. But, yeah, we're going to be back. I promise you, we're going to be back. And, again, this is going to be something I review. Get in those comments for me, though. Hit that like button on this video if you like the video. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It really helps your boy out. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's it, y'all. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, y'all already know what to do. If y'all don't, do me a favor. Stay safe out there, people. Please be safe. I don't want y'all out here on the streets getting beat up by random looters and stuff, man. Because, hey, I can't, I can't be everywhere like my boy Gun Dollar and just stomp people out and save the day, man. You know what I'm saying? Either way, I had a good time with this. 
I hope y'all did. I'm going to catch y'all in that next one. I'm out, all right? Yeah.